everybody welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in today for all my new subscribers thank you for tuning in today and for those who are new to the channel consider subscribing and make sure you all like this video on your way out i am coming in today with a very quick review of the rebecca page comfy cow now as I have said, if you saw my video yesterday, don't be confused. I'm not doing Vlogmas, <laughs> but my uh, sewing buzz is always the first of every month. And so if you missed that video yesterday, make sure you go check it out. Lots of good information, new pattern releases, um, talking about some new resources and everything that's out there for you. So if you have not checked out that video, make sure you go and check that video out. So let's jump into this review because it's a quick one because it is so super easy I am wearing it this is my uh, Rebecca page comfy cow I will be popping up pictures over here um, video and all that good stuff so you can see um, it in me but I must say I I have when I'm going through sewing up things to fill the gaps in my closet I am really feeling so, so good about everything I've been making so far. Um, you all know I've made the jogging pants I actually have on today that you'll see in the pictures are the male joggers by Seamwork. And so I did a video on that, did a review, made two pair actually. And then um, also the Henley also made the... Um, that's the Love Notions Henley. I also made the Style Arc Madison top. And now we have the uh, Rebecca Page Comfy Cow. Now stay tuned. I will be doing, coming Sunday, will be all of my makes from the month of November. I appreciate not everyone can catch every video. So I will do that coming up on Sunday. But um, to round out this whole Gaps in My Closet uh, wardrobe series, I will be... Um, coming in with a separate video for the Mimi G jogging suit and also um then I'll have my Concord tee but I won't do that as a separate video because you all know I've made the Concord tee many times plus I have a so along here on my YouTube channel for it so you'll see the Concord tees when I do the entire lookbook of everything that I have made and so yeah let's go ahead and jump into today's uh review now this is by rebecca page now i tried to look up when this pattern came out um i'm thinking it had to be quite some time ago and i say that because the format um Oh, 2016. Yes, 2016. Um, and I say that because I can tell in the instructions, the format and layout of the instructions are quite different from the current Rebecca Page pattern. So like this pattern is telling you how to uh, press in and different things like that, which her patterns normally have some tips and stuff in there. But um, you will notice um, the layout and everything is not typical of her more current patterns but still very descriptive um lots of information and everything to get you through now if you did not know the comfy cow hoodie does come in again a nice size range up to a 5xl um and this also comes in uh children's size so um the little girl size so you will definitely appreciate that um and so let's get into the sizing for this so for me i cut out because again i wanted to make sure it was not um i wanted to be very loose um and so it turned out perfect for me so i cut out the size 4xl and so the 4xl gives you a um a bust of let's see here 49 to 51 inches a waist of 43 to 46 inches and a hip of 52 to 54 inches so that is the one that i um cut out based on what i saw the finished garment measurements would be and so um yeah so that totally uh worked out and it's about three inches of ease in the finished garment measurement from the um the body measurement so that worked out perfect the other thing that worked out perfect once again i think for all of these knits i've sewn up to this point everything called for a three eighth inch seam allowance which meant sew the whole thing up on the serger but 
because you can run it right up against that knife but if you don't have a serger you can do the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine and finish it that way as well so super easy to put together now one of the things i want to say for again for rebecca page more recent patterns they are drafted for um someone who is five six i'm five seven but this particular pattern was drafted for someone who is five four and so i was like oh okay that's i'm five seven but here's the thing i'm very short-waisted <laughs> um, my torso is much shorter and so i was thinking this would should work out perfect so i didn't make any adjustments to it and you'll see in the pictures anyway but just so you can see here's the band here's my natural waist but here's the band and it just hits perfect it it just hits perfect if this was any longer um yeah this would have been kind of much lower than probably i would um want and actually this pattern is one that i plan to use as a hack for one of my um um for one of my mood board looks the uh dress and so i'm glad i went ahead and did the um i have some loose you know after you sew you have these loose loose threads but anyway and so i do plan to use this for that look and actually let me grab it so actually it's easier for me to just pop up a picture <laughs> so I'll pop up a picture of my mood board look and so I do want that and I do want to do it in a gray and so I absolutely love this and the one thing I didn't do I will say I didn't put the drawstring around it because I don't know that I would draw ever draw it up um and so I just left it out just to see how I like it. And so I do like the way it just kind of flops and drapes. I did, as you can tell, decide to do some um, color blocking. Oh, that's one of my markings. Um, color blocking. I used the black knit on the inside. I used the black knit on the cuffs, the black knit on the front pocket, and the bottom waistband. Now, the fabric this black is left over from the fabric that i recently used <laughs> in um my from walmart i had just enough of that black fabric and if you recall on my style art madison top the sleeves i color blocked that with the black so there was enough left over for me to use for the lining of the hood these cuffs the pocket and the um the waistband and so and i did have to sew because I had to kind of manipulate the fabric um, for the, the lining um, to make sure I had enough. So I had to kind of turn the pieces around on that. But it all worked out beautifully. The outside obviously is the, um, is the uh, and that's just my little chalk mark. But because that's where I, I was thinking about doing the draw, the um, put the cording through, but decided not to and so yeah i like the way it just drapes and obviously i have a drape where it looked like the um, the lines match up but it don't have to be like that but i did get the y'all for you um people who love matching up stripes and this one i i did purposely try to match up the stripes and so look at that winner winner chicken dinner so <laughs> I, I got that one. I just didn't match up the lining for the hood, but because of the way it was cut and everything. But anyway, so um, yeah, that worked out fine. And it being for somebody who's 5'4", didn't mean a thing. That is super easy to put together. Only seven pattern pieces. I don't think I told you where I got the stripe fabric. This stripe fabric has been in my stash for five years. It's from Girl Charlie. And I actually had it in my D stash. I did, I think I did that D stash last year sometime. And so I think I did two rounds of D stashes and no one wanted this. And so I was like, oh, maybe I'll use it for pajamas or something like that. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to use it for. So I was gonna D stash it, but look at that. It came in handy because I have me a nice hoodie, which by the way, the temperatures here are in the 60s. Um, it's going back up, but it's roughly around the 60s, mid 60s. So this is absolutely perfect. I can go out the house, 
I have my um, wrap on, go out the house, I have my jogging pants on, and I can run um, my little errands that I like to run. And I just love it, it's so comfortable. The fabric is super soft. Of course, it's not gonna be on their website anymore, but, um, cause it's from five years ago. But it is super soft. I will say the fabric from Walmart was the knit, was less stretchy than this knit so i did have to gather in just a little bit more of these cuffs um and no it was just the cuffs also in the instructions you will notice that and this is how i again um that stands out to me as this was an older pattern um because she has you sew the side seams before putting in the sleeves and so i didn't do that i, I set the seams in, in flat and then i just surged all the way down instead of putting in this first and then trying to set in the sleeves and knit because what's the point of that and this does drop off the shoulder some so it's it's not one of those that's <clears throat> met <clears throat> at least from what I can tell is not meant to sit right here so it is a little bit of a drop shoulder which I do like and so um yeah that is basically it um I would say so far as sewing time less than two hours less than after you've cut everything out um it it really is and because you're just using your serger if you have a serger even if you're using just your sewing machine it just goes so fast everything just pieces together well um i did stabilize my shoulder seams with my stay tape and yeah that's it not a whole heck of a lot um to say i will say yes i want more of these because again like with everything else i've made the henley the style arc top I'm just finding it just so nice just to grab in my closet. Oh, I'm just going to throw that on. I'm just going to throw that on. Um, because I don't always wear my other garments just because I'm going to the store or something. Sometimes This is most of the time, my for me, this is how I like to roll. And just... And I'm excited about the Mimi G jogging suit. So definitely, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe <laughs> so you can see how that turns out because, you know, that's all my Packer colors. But this type of thing, oh, this is just so right up my alley. So right up my alley. So let me know what you think. Um, I know there are a lot of uh, people who um, are interested in making hoodies. So maybe perhaps give this one a try. Like I said, it is so super easy to put together. Nothing complicated. You can add the drawstring. Um, and plus this one, you do have an option of also getting the... Um, for the kids, the um, the kids version, which will actually make a really good um, gift um, for a little one. But um, so yeah, everybody, that is it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, let me know what you think about this. And yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Sunday is the um, my roundup, I believe, of everything that I have made in the month of November. And then Wednesday, well, you'll have to stay tuned for Sunday because I'm not quite sure yet what I'm doing on Wednesday. But anyway, stay tuned, everybody. Again, thank you so much for tuning in today. You all have a fantastic and wonderful and blessed week. And we will see you on Sunday. Bye.